Let's talk to Big Slim, and thank you once again, Trey, for, for, for making the introduction. I'm out here by you. Those are my little homies from D.C., you know what I'm saying? Like, I got introduced to, introduced, uh, to them uh, since I've been back uh, on the streets. Uh, since uh, I've been back out on the streets since two, so I've been out here since 2000, uh, 2009. And I've been, like, staying out the way, you know, because... I used to be in the streets a lot, you know, to the point to where, you know, police, you know, knew me, you know, as soon as they see me, they chasing me, frisking me, crash jumping out, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I was out there just wilding out, you know what I'm saying? I was out there, you know, taking over, you know, blocks, downtown Los Angeles, you know what I'm saying, on Wilson, you know, I almost got killed out there, you know, just trying to be, you know, this this slim devil image, you know, cause that's what they call me slim devil from all the crypt. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, trying to live up to that image as much as I possibly can, you know, and, you know, doing all that stuff, I'll just basically push myself to the point to where, you know, right before I, uh, you know, got chased, you know, with a gun, you know, I ended up actually finding refuge, in a church, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't even know it was a church, but <clears throat> like the night that I had actually uh, almost got killed, I found refuge in the church and I, I ran into the church, you know, trying to get away from the guys that was chasing me with the guns. <clears throat> and it just was so happened to be a church. And, and um, it's crazy. Like a couple of, couple of weeks later, you know, I was, I was, uh, I went, you know, I, you know, you, you, you would think like, oh, you know, he went to church and, you know, he got saved and he went there and he just got on his knees and he was like, oh, he's, thank you, God. I'm never, never going to, uh, you know, go out here and, you know, do these drug acts. But no, as soon as I, as soon as I got safe, I was right in my hood again, going to go, trying to go get a weapon and going to go put in work again. So, you know, as soon as I went out, Soon as as soon as I got chased, I was the type of person that had to get my revenge. I got to get my get back. So, you know, I was that type of individual at a young age. I was like about what maybe eighteen years old at the time, somewhere around there. So, you know, I've been out here all my life. So that's just the way it is. You know, in the gang culture, you know, if you're really out here, you're really trying to, you know, be somebody. You know, you gotta, <clears throat> you gotta, you gotta have that rep. You gotta have that that Movado or whatever they call it, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, and I, I went, ended up right after I, you know, went out there and I was trying to look for the people that, that chased me with the gun and God was nobody out there. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, the block was clear. So the police used to always come and just, you know, search and check everybody and make, you know, check and see, oh, who's selling dope? Who got the, who got the work? You know what I'm saying? And they'll, they'll, people would be out there. We'd be out there late night just with a, with a blanket over us walking down the street like we bums, but the whole time we got work and we got all type of little activities going on. You feel like I'll tell a whole program because I don't want to give up, you know what I'm saying? Any, any game that they don't know, you know, but people that's from LA, you know what I'm saying? Down Tyler, they know what I'm talking about with the whole, acting like you're a, you know, smoker situation. But, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, after that point right there, because I went from doing my thing, you know, in West LA, I have my own little drug, little operation going on over there. You know what I'm saying? Then I moved from West LA, then I started getting more heavier into my hood. Then a lot of things happened with my hood with, you know, different things with the police and, shut down different spots that we had going on. So it was like, I ended, it ended up pushing me downtown. You know what I'm saying? So that's where I was at right before I went to prison. And then, you know, right before I was, uh, when I went to prison, thank God I ended up going to prison because I was like, get shot at, get chased with guns. I'm out here going to go try to put in work, doing all these wild things. So I needed something to slow me down. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I needed that. And, I went to I went to jail and it was like I'm around everybody and I'm talking to people, meet different people, and you know, gaining gaining information and wisdom. You know what I'm saying? And, and trying to figure out like how is people in this situation and how I could try not to come back 
you know what I'm saying, to this situation. Because yeah. when I got to that point, to being in the county jail and actually, you know, being there and staying in the county jail and going through it, it was like, it was an eye opener for me because it was like, it was like basically we were in a big cubicle, like we were an experiment, you know, and I had already experienced that, like the police were studying, studying us from the, from when we were, you know, raided and stuff like that in the hood. So I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, tell to, you know, make, you know, draw the, draw the story out, draw, draw the, the conversation out. If I can have you back on, maybe a tray, if it's cool, maybe we can get offline and we can all make the connection and, um, I can have you back on. Just you know, kind of go hey, in depth cool, and, and talk prison in, in general, and just <laughs> once again to deter kids from just even going down that route. And I would like to even know more about your spir- spiritual journey, you know, as well from going from Slim Devil to a man of God. You know, what I'm saying that's just so ironic that your name was Slim Devil, and and now you're you're just a man of God in a whole different realm. So I want to talk about that offline. I'm gonna get with Trey, and if it's cool with you, we'll uh, we'll make it happen. For sure, man. I'm right here, cool. man. I'm tapped in with You're you, looking out. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. Well, Trey, man. Yeah, um, right yeah, yeah. Avenue Trey, dude. Tell everybody what you have uh, going on. Make any, um, you know, give any shout outs, and then we'll move on to Phantom Loke. Uh, I want to first start off by saying, you know, my OG's label, King Mind. You know what I'm saying? King Mind Records, baby. Shout out. Salute. Uh, also, shout out to the homie. Uh, no sense. But, you know what I'm saying? Run and tell. You know what I mean? And as always, you know, look forward to my nigga Phantom Lope. He dropping his music project, Silk the Lokester. And, you know, shout out to the army Lalo. And last but not least, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button for Dusty Vision TV, y'all. And this avenue's originals. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, Phantom Lope. Well, um, there's been some changes to the label that I'm in right now. So, First of all, the names change. Uh, that's one. It's called Hey, That's Them Bobs Productions. And um, because of certain changes, you know what I'm saying, it's just me and uh, the homie, you know what I'm saying, that's under the label and all that. Um, just be on the lookout for more music. I'm working on my uh, second project still. At the same time, I'm also making a movie that we're planning on putting out on Tubi um, soon. You know, I'll give you a date on when that's happening, but we're still in the production of it. You know, it's also just to promote my music out. You know, uh, shout out to the homie Low. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the homies back up uh, DMV. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the real Lokes up there. I fuck with and all that. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to the homies back in LA. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Big Slim, you have any last words, man? For sure. Y'all can follow me uh Instagram, King Mind Cola, King Mind Cola, K I N T M I N D K O L A on Instagram. Y'all can also uh follow me on uh YouTube. You know, I ain't got a lot of, you know, videos on there, but Y'all can still, you know, support if y'all want to support me, you know, at King Mind, K I N G M I N D dot K O L A on YouTube. I would throw the Twitter out there, but we could do that later on on another day. But I appreciate you, Dusty, for yeah, sure. Most def, man. Appreciate all three of you fellas, man. And y'all be safe. And I'll, I'll definitely be uh, talking to you guys soon, all right? Appreciate it, so, again, so. man. Much love. Peace to everybody.